Good morning. So yeah, I'm in the gym this morning. Going to attempt to uh, have a good session. Today is Friday. Friday the Friday the something of lockdown something. So I've got a push session today. I've had a, in general a real poor week of training. Um, just because everything's going on really, which I'm going to expand on in a little bit. Um, obviously I'm fortunate to have a facility to train in, well I say fortunate, obviously I, I bought it, so. Yeah, I've got somewhere to train, which I know most people haven't. But this week's been tough on, on a whole, which we'll dive into a little bit in a sec. But um, Got a little bit of snow this morning, not as much as everywhere else, which was disappointing. Let me see if I can see it outside. I mean, it's pretty pathetic on the whole. Seen a few kids out playing with the snow though. Um, uh, it looks quite. Uh, yeah, see, pretty dull, pretty really dull to be honest. But um, yeah, we've got a bit of snow. First vlog video. Don't know how it's gonna go. Might be appalling. You might all hate it. Um, you might prefer it. Who knows? But I'm gonna set up my pre-workout, set up my intro. And then while we're sipping pre-workout, we'll just have a little chat about what we're doing. And yeah, we'll crack on. So I'm gonna give this a go. Haven't used it for a while. Utopia. 3.5 gram scoop, that's it. So not really much that goes into this one. Um, so we're gonna have that intro workout. I've got five grams of creatine hydrate and 15 grams JPEAA. Haven't got my electrolytes, I've ran out, which is annoying. Um, but I'll order some this weekend to get some in for next week. When these scoops have 0.5, something 0.5, I always just go to the next number up. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I hate the idea in my head that I've underdosed something, so four grams of that actually. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody that's training at home is managing okay. Um, I've struggled to manage this week, so never. I, I just think what it's been like for everybody else. Um, one bit of advice for anybody that is training at home: do not set the standard for yourself too high. Do not ex tell yourself you're going to train every day. Just set yourself two to three training sessions a week. I think if you set the standard too high, oh, I'm going to train five, six days a week, that motivation is going to dip very quick, which was evident in anybody that had to train at home previous lockdowns. I've seen some quality garage setups, so, so for you guys, I've got quality garage setups, and you crack on how you want. So yeah, I'm fortunate that I have a gym, but you'll see when we go in there in a bit that a lot of kits been get well, most of anything that I could lend out, I've given out, to be honest with you. Um, it's a shame though, because I'd like to give out things to everybody. But for example, I had about seven bar barbells to, that I could lend out, and I must have had 35, 40 people ask for them. Just can't, I just couldn't do it, unfortunately. So yeah, um, I'm gonna have my pre-workout now. We'll crack on with the session. And then maybe at the end I'll come in, we can chat about what I'm gonna do to see the lockdown through what I feel that I need to do to make sure the business survives this lockdown um, and just talk about a few other things as well so yeah I'll see you in the gym and hope you enjoy the video so our first exercise today is uh, incline and chest press I'm not going to do my whole session like this because I just find it distracts me too much um, but our first one is incline press dumbbells it's been a, a neglected exercise for a while to be honest Every now and then my right shoulder gives gives me a bit of a bit of trouble, which I think anybody that trains regularly tends to have their shoulder issues, but I hurt it probably about five, six years ago, and every so often it just flares up, so my weights aren't crazy on it, but I have avoided it as a result, so it's kind of like... So yeah, I'm going to try and implement it and bring it back in, so this is going to be my top set. Again, it's nothing crazy, the weight's going to be average at best, but I'm just going to crack on and just get what I can and then work on it over the next few months. Yep. Let's go. Make it easy. 
Didn't feel too bad. Hopefully it looks all right. Um, managed to keep the. Uh, let me turn this music off for a sec. Silly. Whew. Managed to keep the reps as deep as I like. I hate people rushing the weight up, especially on something like this. Just to get, just to rush to the 50s and anything above that. But they're just half reps. That's that's the most annoying thing. So I want to get as strong as I can at it, but I want everything to be perfect. Yep, still wearing my gloves. They're not weightlifting gloves, by the way. Just fucking, they're just cheap Amazon gloves to keep you warm in the gym. So anyway, I'm gonna crack on. So yeah, that was my first proper and good session 20 in 2021. I've had a real poor week of training. I've had a poor week in general, which I'm gonna dive into a little bit when I get home. I'm like I'm Gordon Ramsay or something. <laughs> Normally there is salad on there. <coughs> Looks fucking looks well bland. But not there's salad and stuff on there, but we've run out, so. This is the one. If you haven't tried it, try it. How do I intend on getting through this lockdown for the gym? It's a good question. I think the the answer is I'm gonna go find work. Um so I'd like to think that I can probably start some work next week. I'm not sure, 100% sure what that will be yet. Um, it's a weird one really, because I will do what I have to do and working is, is no problem. I can go work somewhere. An eight hour shift to me now would be nothing. However, you know, having to do such a thing, probably be working for minimum wage as well, minimum wage. After all the time and money and effort I've invested into that gym, it's it's a bit of a killer for me really, it's a bit of a, it's disheartening, but if I have to go work full time for, or part, or whatever, for three months to make sure that gym reopens in a good place, it's a no brainer for me. I've worked too bloody hard to have that place where it's at now, for, for it to go down the pan. I did say earlier that was the best session I've had in 2021, and I have actually trained most days this week, it, they've just been complete and utter shite. Um, Reason being, really, I kind of fell into a bit of a bit of a hole. Like I didn't want to, I didn't want to be in that building. Like I dreaded going into the gym. I dreaded it this week all week. I've come home. I've not wanted to go out. I haven't wanted to take Ada out. I've not wanted to leave the house. And I think a combination of everything that's been happening, for, you know, it just got on top. We also had to make a decision to cancel our wedding in September which which really really upset me to be honest it, it was just a shitter really but we had to make a decision something had to give this year I can't cope with the with this this lockdown looking like it's going to be the end of March um, financially that's a massive burden that gym's not cheap to run and then the cost of that managing it and then the potential close to the time then putting restrictions in place after spending all that money i just couldn't do it and i think this conversation this conversation of mental health and things like that is not something i've really spoken about because i'm not you know you see all these influencers and you see all these people with names and followings and talking about it like they really know what they're talking about they don't really but i think it's important I think after the week I've had, I've realised the importance of being around good people and surrounding yourself with good people. People you can speak to. I'm fortunate that I have Emma with me every day. But like this, this was um, a tough week really. And for me not to want to train, to a lot of people that probably sounds a bit over the top, but for me not want to not want to go in the gym is so far from my normal, it's, it's crazy. 
This is our third lockdown and I've only been open just a year and I've dealt with them all quite well. This time round, not so much. And I haven't had, um, you know, you put positive posts up as much as I can, but it's tough. So that, that's my plan. <clears throat> I will get work. I will work full time. I will keep the gym alive that way. I mean, it probably would survive if I didn't just, but I want to go into reopening in a good position, not not walking on a string. Um, and yeah, really the message here is just, just look out for people, reach out to people, look after them. If you think someone's going through a rough time, just reach out. But I'm going to continue with this as much as I can. I'm going to try and get up my first podcast. Now with the podcast, I'd be interested to, if people um, would be interested in the first podcast, podcast being on my own. Just having a chat about 2020 and see how that goes. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Comment below, that'd be cool. Um, hopefully you like the video so far. This is my first video on the vlog, so hope you like it. See you next time.